The NASA Workmanship Standards website has great pictures of soldering defects. Look for damaged traces on your board. Solder a wire between pads to bypass a broken land. When a component case is damaged, the component must be replaced. When the component is longer than the pad spacing, damaging force is applied where the lead connects to the component body. Mount the component more vertically until you can correct the board layout. When leads are bent at a sharp right angle, they will break without warning. Replace these components and make more rounded bends in the leads. Insufficient solder makes an unreliable mechanical and electrical connection. Add a little extra flux in solder and reheat until you have full wetting. When you feed solder into the soldering iron tip, or when a ground plane sucks all the heat out of the pad, or when a large component lead sucks all the heat out of the tip, you get a solder ball. Suck the solder off and start again. Too much solder damages the connection between the lead and component body. Suck off the excess solder, add a little flux, and reflow. Too much solder can result in a solder bridge. Use a solder sucker or solder wick to remove it. When a solder joint is not heated sufficiently, it is called a cold solder joint. Add a little extra flux and reheat until the joint is fully wetted and smooth. A hairline crack between the component lead and the pad indicates too little solder or too little heat. Add some extra flux in solder and reheat until the joint is fully wetted and smooth. When a cut lead touches an adjacent trace or land, a short circuit is created. Gently pry up the cut lead and cut it shorter. Surface mount chips are difficult to align by hand. If the chip moves out of alignment during soldering, reheat and remove the chip. Remove the solder from the board using solder wick and solder the chip more carefully. Use magnification to inspect surface mount solder joints. Add extra flux and solder and reflow if necessary. A hairline crack between the chip end and pad indicates insufficient solder, flux, or heat. Add extra flux and reflow the joint. When excess solder touches the component body, the component to lead connection cannot expand or contract with changing temperature. Remove the excess solder using solder wick. Reflow with flux and solder if necessary to make a smooth, concave, fully wetted joint. 